yeah, you do you, you be happy. And yeah, you, I'm proud of you, you know, like you've, you want to be happy. I'll let you be happy. Yeah. Think again, you know, the mind is so narcissistic and negative and programmed because it's the reality we live in. The reality we're living is, in is subconsciously programming our mind to, to separate from our heart. It's quite simple. You know, if we're living from our heart, we see things from a different perspective. We see things from a quantum analogy of love. When we're thinking things from the mind, we're only growing in the perceptional reality of the mind, which is very encouraged to um, compare, separate, control, compare, separate, and control. When we're comparing, we're going against our true and, and that originality because we're all one. We all belong to love and love is truth and truth is happiness and happiness is, is contentment and contentment is understanding and understanding is acceptance and acceptance is, is essentially um, collective. And when we're separating, we're completely going against any of those collective um, points of understanding or uh, collective uh, awareness, or just collective, you know, collective is collective. It's, it's truth, it's justice, it's wisdom. Collective as what we know it is, is we perceive collective as, you know, like collective is in essence the truth of our originality, is collectiveness. We all originate from a sense of truth, which originates from our originality. Yet, our mind is trying to separate and trying to broadcast our attention into only this reality, which then we um, essentially put all of our attention into and we forget about the heart. And then we wonder why we're getting into, into states of suffering or states of obsession or states of... Uh, darkness or losses because we've just given up on the heart we've just gone all with the mind and then we realize fuck i have no idea where i am i, I don't feel any connection with like truth love happiness i don't know where i am because we put all our attention into our mind it's a dark place the mind the mind is designed to take us away from our truth our true originality our true divine originality which is found within the heart's awareness or the heart's guidance or the heart's truth and we can all connect back but we need to separate from the web because the web is just coating our true connection to our originality because it's all broadcasted through the mind the mind is the transmitter to our the, the mind is just a satellite tv when we're transmitting from the heart we're transmitting out of the mind expressing out of the mind or express, expressing out of everything. We're all connected. We're a divine um, unit here. You know, we're operating as a system and you can't just be blocked off from the heart or you'll be operating a system without the heart. You need to be operating in unity with the heart, body, mind, spirit, soul um, or something like that. But yeah, it's definitely being broadcasted out through the mind. The mind isn't just if the mind's silent but we need to learn how to get the mind silent and when the heart speaks louder than the mind the mind is just shut up the mind doesn't talk the mind's under control but you need to get to the heart and you need to start to activate and clear the spider webs which are blocking the heart because if you're only talking from the mind you're only talking from the mind you know when you're talking from the heart you're expressing from the heart out through the mouth. Maybe you're not even talking from the mind. Maybe you're just going heart to mouth, you know, expressing. But the moral of the story is we need to um, understand and detach from our emotions. We're not our emotions. We're only experiencing our emotions. We're a point of attention in infinite reality. Although we're only broadcasted within this perception of reality, we are infinite imagination being taking form within this reality. So there's a lot of things to think about, but um, it's going to be tough, you know. <laughs> you start cutting the webs, and if you don't keep fighting, they'll just grow back. You have to keep fighting, no matter what. You have to keep fighting.